Hello everyone, this is Liz with EC QuickBooks Training. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download your transactions and uploading them in QuickBooks Desktop. So let's get started. I am in the account summary section under download activity, and this is for Wells Fargo, and you could do it with any bank account that you have under download activity. I have selected the date range, and now I'm going to select the file format, which is QuickBooks Web Connect. I'm going to click on download and it's going to download a QBO file. And this QBO file, we can upload this into QuickBooks Desktop. So let me go ahead and go to the QuickBooks Desktop and show you where to, to upload it. Here is my QuickBooks Desktop and let me show you what the um, the download looks like it is it will have the extension QBO so this is what it looks like now if we go back to the QuickBooks we can go to file then we can go to utilities import and import web connect files so let's click on that and it's going to ask us where that file is and that was in my downloads file Okay, it's right there, QBO. I'm going to select it. And you can see it's importing the transactions. It says your Web Connect data has been successfully read into QuickBooks. I'm going to click OK. And then it brings us to the bank feeds. Um, and where I want to go is transaction list. Now, if it's the first time you are uploading uh, the bank feeds, it will ask you what uh, accounts you want to uh, sync this into. So you just select your checking account. But as you can see, we have successfully uploaded 924 transactions. And out of those, QuickBooks can recognize 437. So I definitely have a lot of work to do. But I wanted to show you um, how to download the transactions from your QuickBooks. And as you can see, we did about three months. And then you can actually go as far back as your bank allows, which I believe it's 18 months. And then you can upload into uh, QuickBooks Desktop. And you can even upload this file into QuickBooks Online. So I hope that this has helped you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more how-tos tips and tricks, and troubleshooting for QuickBooks. I will see you on the next one.